Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a real life review of the MI AirPop PM 2.5 Anti-Pollution Mask Pack of 2. So uh, this is actually a small mask uh, which is actually useful uh, for a uh, uh, lot of different uh, scenarios. So if you are uh, a rider uh, if you if you go out on a bike or something uh, you need uh, to use something to cover your face uh, then you can use this if you have allergies uh, then you can use this uh, if you are asthmatic you can use it there are a lot of different scenarios that uh, uh, this is helpful for so we'll be talking about that later on uh, let's go ahead first see uh, what you get with the pack so i have done an unboxing just uh, i'll just fast forward that so you'll see what's uh, in the pack and then we will start talking about it Okay, so let's go ahead, open this up and then see what all do we get with this. Now you have two masks. Now this one I have already used for two weeks. So this one is the new one, which I have not used as yet. Now by mistake, I actually put this in the washing machine uh, with my clothes and washed it also. So now you can actually see the difference. So this is the new one. So this is how you actually get this. So this is the color. It's going to be completely white from inside. It's all paper. Uh, sponge over here which is designed in a way where it will actually give a good uh, tight fit onto your nose it will not allow uh, much of air to leak in so it doesn't matter whether you have a big nose small nose whatever it will fit everyone I have actually tried it with different people so you have these bands which are actually pretty soft and they do not break if even if uh, you pull it a lot it does not break so the quality the build quality on this is very nice now let's take a closer look at this this is how it looks like inside out okay so you guys have seen the video so basically it's a sealed pack you open that up and then you get two of these masks so that's it that's what you get with this this is actually pretty good uh, for riding I have used it uh, while I was riding so I'll tell you about what I experienced with this now this one now when you look at this before I thought maybe the filter is over here but this is just a valve so basically uh, when you are breathing in, it will not give any uh, air, so in, uh, nothing will pass through when you are breathing in. But when you are breathing out, it allows the air to go out. So, see, so it will allow the, wind, uh, the air to go out, but it will not allow the air to come in. So the only place the air can come in is from the entire filter. So the entire thing is a filter. So uh, this is the four layer protection so this entire mask is a filter so that's a confusion that a lot of people had uh, I have a lot of people asking me whether they can change the filter or not uh, but uh, this is not the filter this is just the valve uh, so it's very comfortable I have been using it for a long time uh, one thing that I've noticed is uh, yes it does decrease the uh, fogging uh, when I'm wearing my glasses uh, it does decrease the fogging doesn't remove it completely but when you're wearing it like this uh, the over here there is a sponge so that actually lets a little bit of uh, air to come out so this is what goes onto your nose so that does uh, allow a little bit of air to come out which does give a little bit of fog but it's not as much as a regular uh, one if you're wearing a, a mask like uh, normally what I used to do is I used to wear those masks uh, which comes up to here and then I used to write so whenever I used to stop mainly when I used to stop on any of the uh, signals then my entire glass used to fog up so this one reduces that a little bit so won't remove it completely but it will reduce it so that's one thing uh, second now since I'm breathing uh, all the moisture in it uh, it has a tendency of keeping most of the moisture in so uh, I will have a lot of the moisture so when I remove it I'm normally all wet over here so that's normal that's because this doesn't allow the moisture to go out that fast so it actually collects it. So that's going to be a problem for some people who have uh, breathing, uh, who have suffocation issue. Uh, the moisture actually uh, doesn't help there. So all you have to do is just pull it up and then leave it back and then the entire moisture goes off. So that's also something that I've tried. So that's my experience with the bike. Uh, it's comfortable. So I don't have to keep removing it and putting it back. Uh, the only thing that I noticed was when I'm wearing this and uh, I have the helmet on, so now you see it's actually protruding out a little so when I have the helmet visor down this actually pushes onto it and it folds so it folds a little bit 
So in the starting, that was a problem for me because uh, my breathing space is limited now. Uh, but as you keep using it, you'll get used to it. Now, uh, it's not that difficult to breathe in it. Uh, it's just a matter of getting used to it. You'll have to, in the starting, obviously your body will resist it uh, as soon as it, your body sees there's a blockage uh, in the uh, passage, then it will try to breathe harder. So that happened to me in the starting, but as you keep using it, uh, just calm down as you keep using it, uh, you'll get used to it and then you won't even notice that uh, this is there. Uh, so it does block a lot of uh, pollutants. So let's talk about that. So uh, uh, I will name my friend Anamika for this one because she doesn't want her name to be there. Uh, so let's go ahead and discuss with her uh, what's this all about. So who actually needs a mask? Who is it for? So again, a mask can be used by absolutely anybody, right from children to adults to older people. Mm -hmm. And um, it helps a lot with people who have allergies, like pollen allergies or uh, dust allergies. And generally with all the increasing polluting uh, pollution happening yeah. in our cities, it's advisable for everybody to use it. Okay, see, one thing that I am concerned about is like uh, your natural immunity. You have your own natural immunity, like uh, no matter what kind of dust and this and that goes into you, uh, your body naturally uh, automatically gets immune and then uh, you know it, it adapts to that and then you get better. But then is this going to be another problem? Like uh, now if I'm going to be using this, then I'll have to use this every time now because my body is not used to pollution anymore. Well, actually, that's not true. Um, I would advise you to use it if you are in an area which is heavily polluted, like when you're out in the traffic or at a construction site or in a field where, you know, there are flowers blooming or things like that. But oh, yeah. um, of course, yeah, you don't use it on a daily basis. Mm. But, you know, see, we are talking about pollutants which are called particulate matter here. So, okay. So I, actually, yeah, I think we should start there. So what, what does it actually block? So now this is 2.5 PM. So uh, what does it actually block? What so, is it? Uh, I mean, how do I understand PM? What's the size of it? Okay. So you see, there are different types of pollutants, which is outdoor and indoor. You'd be surprised indoor also there are a lot of pollutants like your pet dander, your mold, your bacteria. Now they are all measured in microns. I'll explain that uh, in a little bit detailed manner a little later. Mm -hmm. So for example, a pet dander is from mm -hmm. 2.5 micron to 10 micron. Uh, mold spores are 3 micron to 40 microns. They vary between 3 to 40 microns. Now, there are bacteria which is 0 0.3 to 60 microns, so, um, so on and so forth. Now, when you are talking about pollutants, they're called particulate matter. That's how they're measured, PM. Yeah, yeah. Now, there are two types of particulate matter. One is PM 10 micron and PM 2.5. Now, the 10 microns are basically larger particulate uh, pollutants, okay. which you don't really have to worry about. But it's a 2.5 that okay. we have to worry about because mm. they're tiny and they'll go into your lungs causing a lot of health issues in the future. Mm. So basically, uh, if I would, so it's going, so it's uh, on the size of the matter that goes in. So uh, 2.5 is uh, actually, so what I, what I uh, read online and what I've uh, done my research, uh, that, that actually tells me that uh, like a regular human hair is somewhere on 50 to 70 micron and this is 2.5 micron so now we can we can understand the dis, the the actual size how small uh 2.5 is actually going to be so uh now if i'm going to be filtering that that much then that's actually filtering out a lot of stuff so it's going to be pretty healthy for you as in uh, uh one more thing that i had i totally forgot to tell you about this uh two things that i tested was smell and smoke so surprisingly, uh, even smell did not smell that bad. So there are uh, times when I end up behind a garbage truck. So and when you're on the bike, then you know how bad it is. Uh, but this was quite quite bearable this time. That with the with this, uh, that that's what was surprising me. How did it actually cut down the smell? Uh, for me, it was just particle. So that, that was surprising to me. It actually cut down that. A lot of the smoke, uh, so my friends also smoke. There are a lot of friends who smoke. So I tried it uh, next to them and the smoke smell also was cut down by this a lot. So it was bearable for me. So that's also something that I want you to know that this is actually good for that too. So, uh, okay, back to what you were saying. Um, 
So yeah, about um, the uh, pollutants. Now, pollutants are basically there are three categories of pollutants. You know, mm-hmm. they it's called N, R, and P. So N is not oil resistant when you're talking about the masks okay the, the quality mask. of the mask mm-hmm. now we're talking about the quality of the mask that you need to use okay, okay. so what does the mask do mm-hmm. so there's an n category there's an r category and a p category okay. n is not oil resistant r is oil resistant and p is oil proof now we really don't have to worry about the r and the p we're more concerned about the n because we okay. oil is not really something we are involved in. Okay, because that will be more into like uh, places where there's a lot of oil, like maybe refineries and stuff. Yeah, I guess. exactly, maybe. exactly. So, that's so for us, it's more of us. the yeah. regular pollution. So this yeah. is a regular one for your regular pollution. Yeah. Nothing to do with uh, oil. So it will not filter yeah. out any no. oil in the air. You don't need that. Okay. So uh, now the N category. Um, the rating is from 95, that's N95, to N99, to N100. Now, N95 masks can filter up to 95% mm-hmm. of your particulate matter, or PM, mm-hmm. of a 2.5 micro. 2.5, yeah. Whereas an N99 and an N100 can filter 99% mm-hmm. of your particulate matter of 2.5 micron hmm. all right okay so n99s are very effective but n95 will also do okay. now in this particular case yeah the packet i believe says it can 99 percent yeah. of 2.5 micron which yeah. makes it an n99 rated mask okay okay, okay. so Okay, so basically, uh, okay, I, I don't think we need to go uh, more in depth about this. Now, now you've got most of the information. So basically, uh, who is this going to be for? Uh, let's talk about that. Now, uh, this is going to be for everyone. Basically, it doesn't matter, no age group. Uh, I mean, okay, one more thing about this, this is universal. It comes in one size, uh, fits everyone, whether it's a child or a grown-up, adult, whatever, it fits everyone. Uh, it's designed in that way. Uh, now, this is going to be useful for everyone uh, in case, uh, I mean, when, when children are going to school, uh, there's pollution anyways, so good for them. Uh, when you are going to work, whether you're going in the car or uh, you're going on a bike, uh, I mean, if you're going in the car and the window is open, then maybe it's going to be useful. Uh, your AC does not have a 2.5 filter, remember that. So, it is going to uh, let in most of the pollutants in. So there will be hard particles which can go in. That's why you have uh, car air uh, purifier, air uh, filters also available in the market. So that does that. So this is going to be useful for them also. So it's going to be useful for everyone. Because now, the, uh, I mean, uh, before I used to say that Delhi is polluted, then I used to say Bangalore is polluted, now I'm in Pune. So I keep shifting everywhere. So you really can't say that, you know, uh, this city is more polluted than the other one. Wherever you are, pollution is going to be there. So if you want to save yourself from pollution, uh, this is going to be a good option. Now, uh, this was a general video. Uh, it was a um, full review or uh, real life review about this. Uh, but you can actually apply this to any uh, of the masks. So it doesn't matter whether you're buying this or any other company. Uh, this is a video to let you know uh, whether it's going to be useful for you or uh, who is it for. So anyone can buy it, anyone can use it. Now this is not only going to uh, filter out smoke or uh, dust, it's going to filter out uh, bacteria too. So that's good in case you're in places where uh, it's not very he- hygienic. Uh, this is going to be good for you. Hospitals in th- Hospitals and stuff. So it's going to be good for that also because this is at that grade. So. Uh, if you're on a construction site and if you're in a place where uh, like especially one thing which I've noticed in Bangalore uh, there's a lot of pollen season which keeps coming up and a lot of my friends have pollen allergy and I am not allergic to any of these things that's why there's another person here telling me more about these things so I'm not allergic to anything so I I never come to know but all my friends are sick every uh, week every second week they're they're sick uh, they have some other breathing problem so this is going to help all uh, all of those people now not only outside even in the house people have uh, problems with the uh, pets which I really didn't know that is going to be that big of an issue that animal dander also causes a lot of issues so this is going to help you in that too so but what I would advise is if you're in in the house uh, you have other devices like uh, air purifier for the house it's air so air um, what do you call it? Purifier? No. Yeah, air purifier. Air, air, air purifier. Air purifier for the house. Uh, there are many brands. MI also has it, but there are other brands also. Uh, you can use them 
in the house because it will really be silly if you're doing this. I once I even tried drinking tea with this, and then it was not a good experience. So uh, don't do that. But maybe buy invest in one of those things. But if you're going out, this is a good option. Now, one question that uh, will come into your mind is how long can I use this? Now, according to MI, uh, around how many hours was it? Fifteen hours each. Fifteen hours each. So fifteen hours each. Uh, I have uh, the popular thing with people is they they are able to use it for a month or so. Uh, now what they look at is uh, the color of the mask. So this color will actually turn brown. So as it goes brown, you have to stop using it. Now it's nice and white. So till till the time it goes to a little bit brownish area, uh, then you have to stop using this. So it's a use and throw one. The filters cannot be changed. Uh, nothing that you can do with this. Use it. Throw it. Buy another one. Two forty nine rupees is not too expensive uh, for your health. So uh, that's basically it. That's all that I have. Uh, anything else that you want to add? Yeah, well, talking about health and why one should, you know, this was one of the questions you asked me in the beginning, why should you use a mask? And mm. of course, we started by who should use a mask? And yeah. I said, everybody should. Now, why you should do this is because of all the pollution levels that are going up. Mm. You know, uh, it is resulting, I'm sure you must have noticed that there are children nowadays, small mm. children that have asthma issues. You yeah, know? I know. So you're talking about sneezing, coughs, allergies, rashes, skin irritation, but these are still things that can be dealt with. Mm. What is bad is when it leads to serious problems like respiratory diseases, lung cancer, chronic lung diseases, um, and you know it can also lead to heart attacks and premature death. So, these so basically, are these that are, you need these to are be things that uh, about, yeah. So maybe like right now, I don't realize what the pollution is doing to me. I'm thinking like, okay, I'm immune to it, and uh, nothing is wrong with me. Yeah. But later on in life, maybe maybe ten years, fifteen yes, years down the line. That time, uh, it might show the effect. Yes, and it okay. tends to affect children and elderly people the most because their no. immune system immune is weak. Immune system is weak. Okay. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, so, uh, I think this video should be good enough for everyone uh, to know whether uh, MI or any uh, pollution mask is good for you or not and should you uh, invest in that. So, if you want to have a, a live a healthier life, I would suggest get one of them, use it, try using it. I know in the starting it will be a little difficult, but uh, once you get used to it, uh, you will have a healthier life. You will uh, not be sneezing and coughing around everywhere and then you will uh, not be uh, affecting your health much. So that... Now, having said that, I'm sorry, hmm. sorry to stop. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm somebody who suffers from claustrophobia, okay. but uh, this mask um, wasn't that big of an issue because uh, they actually advertise um, it as having uh, an advanced air circulation vent hmm. which is a special feature called the large vortex breathing valve which hmm. does not actually suffocate you, uh, suffocate you. it actually yeah that I noticed this, this thing yeah, yeah in the so, starting how I showed that the wind so goes out this is one of the only masks that I can actually use without feeling suffocated oh, okay because of this it helps you in breathing better as in uh, it doesn't block your passage that much okay, okay. that's also that's also a good point Okay, so anything else? Yeah. Need to talk about? Okay. So <laughs> that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye bye. 22 minutes video.